cool. Regal is back. <laughs> Bonita is back. Hey, Bonita. Welcome in, guys. Stasha is back. <laughs> Stasha is a keep teaching. <laughs> Bonnie is back. God bless you, Bonnie. Wani is back. Glory be to God. Priscilla is back. Thank you, Jesus. Miyoshi is back. Kimberly is back. Taranda is back. Pray for unbelief. I believe for others, but I have trouble for myself. I pray for belief. I pray that, that God will rebuke that spirit of unbelief that's messing with Tyrande in the name of Jesus Christ and that you will believe. I rebuke that spirit of Thomas over her. Thomas that has a seed before it happens. I cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus is back. Bless you too, prophet. Uh, so Bonds. Darling is back on. Tori is back on. Tora, God bless you. Joy Nelson, could you pray for my marriage? Yes, I pray for your marriage right now. And I rebuke every force that's fighting your marriage. And I pray that your marriage would uh, remain, Father God, uh, uh, in bliss and harmony. And whatever has been fighting against it, I break its power right now. And I call your marriage back into harmony and into the original plan of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release your marriage to blessing. Amen. Your marriage is supposed to be a blessing, not a curse. Amen. I speak blessings over your marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Peace. Amen. Keep tearing our strongholds. Good evening. Melvina. How you doing, Melvina? God bless you. <coughs> Kimberly, you're going to see some, some turnarounds for your business. You're going to see God is doing some new things in your business in the season. Um, and God said, you ain't, you ain't losing nothing. You ain't losing nothing. You're going to see an increase in your business now. You can see a mighty increase in your business, and the Lord is going to give you double, double. If you you just stay focused on what God is doing, all right? You stay focused on what God is doing, and uh, God is going to give you double. And ultimately, I see a marriage coming up. I see a marriage coming up. Oh, you're not married? Okay. So we speak marriage to to now uh, to uh, the Joyce in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you. We speak we speak um, that God would bring your husband. Amen. God would bring your husband. But Joyce, if you heard me from the beginning, I said God has given out husbands. <laughs> well, if you can receive it, receive it. I said God has given out husbands for the trained art, but not for anybody who really want to receive it. Okay, so receive your husband. Amen? Receive your husband. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> There's a marriage coming up. And um, man of God, get ready. Okay? Get ready for the Lord to open some business. And, and God. God's going to cause you to get hitched in the right way. Amen? Don't allow nobody to break this up. Don't allow nobody to get between you and your significant other. All right? Get those rings. Don't slunk. Something is time sensitive in the spirit. Amen? Doc, doctor, doctor, uh, doctor says she receive it. <laughs> Doc, you receive your husband. She's a woman of faith. In the name of Jesus, I release. I release husbands and men of God that will find their mate their Boaz, let it come forth, uh, and uh, they would find their Esthers. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak blessings and increase over you. I'm from Trinidad, but live in Orlando. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wow, all the way from Trinidad. So that's you. <laughs> Speaking about you too, then. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Rabba Kurabara Baba. Listen, Jesus is back. 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 That's how a lot of that's how a lot of people get fooled. Amen, amen. I speak a blessing over you, Stasha, in the name of Jesus. I receive my Boaz in Jesus Christ's name. Purchase, purchase my, my wedding gown. Hallelujah! God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, and may He come forth now, Lord. 
Father, you see she's done those things. She's following the instructions. And God, you bless obedience. You bless obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And rebellion and stubbornness is as a sin of witchcraft. Okay? You might as well go do witchcraft if you can be stubborn and rebellious. Because you, you're doing it. Alright? Darling, will say you on point, man of God. Amen. God bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make His shine, His face to shine upon you. Someone, you you are, you about to, uh, you about to come into a season of just prosperity and abundance. Uh, you've been through a long period of drought, all right, a long period of drought, and so now you're gonna be fast. You're gonna be fast forwarded, and fast tracked to success. You're gonna be fast tracked to success. Hallelujah. Can you guys share like a, like like at least about twenty or thirty times quickly before this thing go off again? Because I, I keep saying some things I'm not sure. You're going to be fast tracked to success. All right. The Lord been reminding me, and I've been looking at these things that that I've been um, I put down so I can remember it. Thank you, Jesus. You've been fasting for a long time. Someone's been fasting for the Lord. You've been fasting, but you haven't seen the results yet. You're about to receive the results. As a matter of fact, you just completed a fast. You just completed a fast not too long ago. So you're going to get your answers, okay? You're going to get answers uh, um, to some perplexing problems. You're going to find that the perplexing problems and the generational um, situation is going to be revealed to you. And you're going to find in a deeper way that God is... That God is going to give you um, answers. You've been asking God for answers uh, um, for some perplexing situations that they've been eluding you. But your fast has done something for you. Your fast has opened um, the door uh, for God to bring your answer by an angel. Like an angel is going to release this answer to you. You've been going through a situation and you, it's perplexing to you. Okay, It's not... It's not usual. Wow. I make money, but I can't keep it. I make money, but I can't keep it. I make money, but I can't keep it. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to Crystal Stubbs. This is a word for Crystal Stubbs. Crystal, know that the Lord is going to move on your situation in short order. The Lord is breaking the strong man over your life that's been responsible for a lot of situation, uh, even concerning uh, being consistent in some things. You're going to find that God is going to release you from certain things that the enemy has been trying to keep you in. Amen? And you're going to find that you're going to you're going to see that God is moving for you in some areas that, that you've never seen before. This is for Crystal Stubbs. God is clearing the way. God is clearing the way. God is releasing blessings to you. God is releasing open doors to you. Crystal, if you can hear this now, this is the word of the Lord concerning you. The Lord is even going to show uh, uh, that there is, a, there is a generational blessing for you, hallelujah, that is going to come forth within, short, within short, a short span of time. There's a generational blessing that's coming forth for you. And the Lord is going to also uh, give you some, um, some great opportunities now to, uh, to move forward in some areas that, that did not seem like it was moving forward. Know that God is going to uh, 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 reveal himself to you in short order. Crystal, this is for you. Crystal, know that God has you covered. Have you covered? He's covering you. Amen. He's covering you from the plans of the adversary. The Lord is keeping you and he's preserving you. He's going to... Uh, give you blessings increase amen increase in the season and the doors that had been shut previously are going to open for you there's going to be some open doors for you the lord is going to fight some battles for you the lord's releasing to you wisdom to move forward he's releasing most wisdom for you to move forward crystal is releasing upon your life a new level of understanding a new level of worship a new level of praise a new level of seeking him amen as you as you continue to seek the lord the lord is calling you crystal the lord has called you the lord has purpose to use you amen god is going to fight for you in some areas that you have been so tired of fighting for 
you're going to find God is fighting for you. Doors that were shut before will begin to open. As I'm speaking this word to you, Crystal, know that this is the word of the Lord concerning you, that you're going to see God's hand move for you. God's hand is upon your life. Even though sometimes you don't feel it, God said he's with you. God has gone before you, even now to be a mighty battle axe for you. Amen. God is going to be a mighty battle axe for you, Crystal. God is going to give you um, undiscovered potential and innovations and discoveries that you're going to find that it is like you flowing, all right? You're going to start to flow. There's going to be a flow for you. You're going to be flowing again, amen? You're going to dream more. I see dreams coming for you. Dreams, and and um, and you're going to find that your dreams are getting clearer and clearer and clearer. Uh, keep a keep a, keep a a pen with you and a, and a book at your bedside. Your dreams are going to reveal some things to you. Uh, concerning some areas of your life, Crystal Stubbs, know that God is going to uh, to restore uh, a lot of things that you had lost. Amen. You lost some things. You lost um, some things. Um, and I see that sometimes, even emotionally, uh, you've been through some things emotionally, psychologically, mentally. You're going to be preserved. Amen. In this season, and God is going to uh, um, bring. You Amen. Those things that were incomplete, and they they hadn't been um, totally like uh, totally dealt with, you're gonna find that the question marks in your life are gonna be released to you. Amen. In other words, there's gonna be closed doors because the Lord wants you to close some doors with some unfinished stuff, some things that have not been finished. Um, and additionally, I hear the Lord saying He's gonna pay off some things. So you gotta know what it is, but He's gonna pay off some things for you. And I see the double, double, uh, double over you, the triple, double. You're going to get double, 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 double. This is a blessing for you, Crystal. Know that um, as you begin to stay in position with the Lord, don't move out of position. Don't go uh, don't go to the left nor to the right, but stay the course. Uh, keep people out of your business. Ultimately, uh, uh, don't, let the, don't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing, Crystal. Know that God is going to um, give you... Uh, uh, it's almost like another another avenue for you to come into a source of finances. It's like an avenue is going to open for you. I don't know where it's going back to schooling or some courses or whatever it is. You're going to find that it's going to be a door open through it. And <laughs> don't doubt um, this spirit that wants to bring um, a little bit of double mindedness to you sometimes concerning uh, which way to go. Um, even hearing God better and clearer. It's, it's going to be broken, amen? And the Lord is going to do something for you, crystal subs. Get ready for God to remove the spirit of confusion, the spirit of, of anger and, and frustration. It's going to be bound over you and the thing that they try to do, even concerning um, even concerning keeping you backwards, amen? You're going to find that this thing is going to be broken, but it's something about your praise and your worship in the Lord that's going to act as a catalyst for your next level. Amen. Crystal, are you listening to me? Crystal, you're going to find that God is going to move for you as you begin to worship the Lord. And, and, and there's something about you really selling out to the Lord. There's something about you really just turning it over to the Lord. I don't know why, but you need to really, really just lock into God in a lot of ways and not doubt. There's something with doubt, with doubt and unbelief. Well, I bind this doubt and belief, unbelief and this thing that, that wants to fight in that area. Amen. And Lord, I thank you for being focused and being a single-minded, uh, make a single-minded Father God in those areas, Lord. And God, I thank you for uh, for her this this really this giving it to you and letting it stay there. Hallelujah! Every evil tree where her name has been planted, I uproot the evil tree. Every evil tree where her name has been planted, I command that tree to be broken. I command a tree to be crushed. I command a tree to be cut down wherever name has been put under this evil tree. I command it to go now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Father, the strong man that's been sponsoring the problem behind her life, I sever it right now. I, I, I strip it of its power and I release the blessings and open doors for her. God, may she walk in the presence and may she walk in the glory. God, may you cover her and protect her from dangerous seen and unseen. And right now, I release the, the blood around crystal stubs in the name of Jesus Christ. And I, I release the blood of Jesus Christ to cover crystal stubs, uh, possessions of family, and God, everything that concerns her, Lord. And I come against the spirit of stagnation, stagnation, and I release, Father God, promotion, 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 elevation in the name of Jesus. That's the word of the Lord concerning crystal stubs. Amen.
I need you guys to share it quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Hey, Melvin. God bless you, man of God. I, uh, I release the word of the Lord to you. Melvin, I just see these contracts around you, man, man of God. These contracts. I see these contracts around Melvin Roll. Melvin Roll, I see these contracts around you. I see these contracts. I keep seeing them as I looked at you just now. Uh, I see these contracts. So uh, get ready for some amazing contracts, some amazing um, deals that are on the table that were pending that they, they for some reason didn't come to pass like they should. These deals are going to come to pass. And then you're going to find that these deals are coming. These deals are coming. Uh, they're going to come. Uh, I see these vehicles around you. I see these vehicles, these company vehicles and company trucks. Uh, I see this office space that you're going to get. Hallelujah. This office space um, and building that is going to be purchased. Amen. And I see you with contracts and deals, uh, not only just on this island, but throughout the islands and even in the U.S. and through some of the Caribbean islands. Hallelujah. I see contracts and deals. I see this network that you're going to just tap into, a network, a network that you're going to work with and they're going to be um, they're going to use you as an agent here as well and over different places that they're going to uh, land you up. Amen? Land you up. I see you even having contracts with the ships, something with ships, and even doing some things with ships. I see there's things with ships. So God's going to open some you. Even with the ships, I see things with the ships. You're going to get involved with that. Uh, and, and I see you just doing your work. I see you hiring crews. You have crews. I see you have several crews that are going to work with you. And I see you having a good team, a good team. And you guys are going to be known for your efficiency, for your good work. And, and you guys are going to be like um, where people are going to be talking about you. And it's going to be like in a, in a, in a, a if I, I can use the word elite. 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 Because you ain't going to come cheap. Amen. But you can get the work done and it can be um, really, really great, uh, great and you're going to pay your people good and you have loyal people um, thank you Jesus and you're going to have real estate a lot of real estate that you're going to have um, around uh, the islands a lot of real estate thank you Jesus hey Angel Eyes good to see you man I see you for a while Angel Eyes <laughs> hallelujah Angel Eyes the Lord says to tell you do not get weary in well doing do not get weary in well doing for you shall reap in due season if you faint not uh, know that God is going to work this thing out for you. I hear the Lord saying, you're going to shift soon. There's a shift coming for you. Amen. The Lord says he's not forgotten you, but there will be a shift for you. The Lord will forget the former things. Don't think about those former things because he's released you from something that had been keeping you back for whatever reason. The Lord says, I've released you from it. Now moving you forward, go forward in the things of God and know that God is going to provide for you as you move forward. Know that God is going to give you uh, uh, the necks of your adversaries. I see God giving you the necks of your adversaries. Uh, uh, there's some people who've been talking about you in a negative way and they've been speaking some things into your life and you've been a blessing to them. The Lord said, don't worry about them. I am the Lord. I will repay. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Just bless them and keep moving forward because that means that elevation is coming to you soon. Know that God said, I'm blessing you in so many ways and even I'm going to provide for you uh, without you have to worry about it. I'm providing for you. So the Spirit of the living God, I'm providing for you. I'm opening doors for you uh, because you've prayed for many. Many have gotten results. Many have gotten blessings. Many have gotten breakthrough. Hallelujah. And you said, Lord, what happened to me? What happened to me? Hey, Stephanie, how you doing? God bless you. Welcome in, Stephanie Hernandez. I haven't seen you for a while. God bless you. So the Lord is saying, even in the season, angel eyes, know that my presence and power is with you. I am for you. Know that even as you've been faithful to the Lord, God is going to cause you to uh, to accelerate and to uh, move in the spirit of increase in this season because you've been tried, you've been tested in so many ways and, and you've not given up. Know that God is bringing healing to your mother. Hallelujah. God is bringing healing to your mother. Uh, some sort of healing to your father as well. I don't know what the deal is, but it's like God is doing something for them. I don't know what it is. Thank you, Jesus. But I sense peace, 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 peace. And they're going to release a generational blessing to you. They're going to release a generational blessing to you. Generational blessing, generational blessing, generational blessing, generational blessing. The Lord is opening some doors for your daughter as well. Uh, the Lord is opening some doors for your daughter. Hallelujah, Lord. The Lord is even moving some something from out of your daughter's life that has been detrimental to your daughter. Hallelujah. God is moving something out of your daughter's life that's been detrimental to her. Hallelujah. That has been pulling her away from the things of God. Know that uh, God is going to move it from her. 
God is going to switch things around for you, for you as well as for your daughter. I cover your daughter and the children with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, Keisha. God bless the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, I thank you right now. Even right now, I break every heart. I and I curse. I come against every plan of the adversary. God, I decree and declare every spiritual attack from, from those strong men and the strong altars uh, that's been fighting, Father God, and resisting uh, 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 the woman of God's life, angel's life, angel eyes, Lopez's life. I break it right now. Even the words that were spoken against her, even the people that turned on her, hallelujah, the words that were spoken against her, even the words that they'd said about her, hallelujah, don't worry about it, woman of God, just keep moving forward. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I will repay, know that the Lord has heard it and seen it. You just keep on blessing and loving people. Love could people are fickle. Love could have people are fickle. One minute they love you, the next minute they want to crucify you. Know that you have you have been uh, proving yourself faithful in some things. I see a gentleman around you. Love could I see a gentleman around you? I see. Um, as a matter of fact, I see two gentlemen. You know, I don't know who they is, but I see them expressing interest in you. Hey, Craig, wanna be welcome in, man. My mind is on you. We ain't meet up yet, man. We gotta meet. Lord, turn it around for April, uh, for Angel Eyes, Lord. Turn it around for April, uh, Angel Eyes, Lopez. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Shiffer, shiffer, Lord. Shiffer, shiffer, Lord. Shiffer, shiffer. You said you're going to do it. Uh, delay doesn't mean denial. Hey, Pinda, Pinda. God bless you. And I speak the blessings and increase in favor of her life in the name of Jesus. God, there's no weapon that's formed against her shall prosper. Lord, everything that rises up against her, we condemn it right now. And God, thank you for giving her, Father God, the strength and the stamina, Father God, for the next season and the next dimension of her life right now. Father God, whatever is not of God, remove it out of her life. Whatever is not of God, move it out of her life right now. And Father, we thank you right now for the blessings and for the favor and for her husband that's coming forth in the name of Jesus. A husband that's coming forth, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lose the glory, 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 lose the glory in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, as as Father God, you've done it for so many others. Do it for your daughter right now. Do it for your daughter. Rabba Kudabba. Shiffer right now, Father. Shiffer right now. Shiffer. the sound of your voice to do battle on her behalf against every stubborn iron like steel like curse every eye like chariot of Cicero I bind up that eye like chariot of Cicero right now and I command even right now Father God let the constellations fight against Cicero let the stars and the moon fight against Cicero and break the iron like grip the iron like grip the iron like grip the iron like grip in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We loose, we loose right now. We loose right now the hounds of heaven right now. The hounds of heaven right now. To go and attack the hounds of hell right now. Hey, Sandri. Sandra, God, God bless you. Welcome in. Glorious, greater blessing to you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, woman of God. Lord, every spirit of self-pity that has been attacking the people of God and confusion, we command it to go. God is releasing. I just I keep seeing the Lord releasing someone to to billionaire status. Sorry, millionaire status. I don't know why I said that, but someone has been released to millionaire status. You listening to me? And you have some business ideas and some business concepts, and you you can feel and see that God is releasing you to this idea. You have a million dollar idea, and you have a million dollar uh, mindset, but for some reason you've been fought uh, in really attaining that level, uh, and it's like you can't seem to break out into that realm where God wants you to. God is gonna uh, remove the hidden uh, the hidden blocks. Amen. Because God wants to use what you have to establish His covenant. He wants to give you wisdom to get wealth, to establish His covenant. And yes, there's nothing wrong with being a millionaire. Listen, you can have money, but don't let money have you. Okay? 
You can have money, but don't let money have you. And don't go say prophet just preach about money. No, God has told someone, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you a millionaire. You heard the Lord say it, and He's gonna give you business ideas, and He's gonna give you concept. You've been asking God for the wealth transfer. God is transferring the wealth to you now. If you can receive it, Amen. If you can receive it, then that word is for you. Only thing is now, <laughs> when you do get the money, don't switch, because we've, we've prophesied over people's lives and they've gotten millions of dollars. And then they switch on us, okay? <laughs> couldn't find them, couldn't hear from them no more. Don't worry, all right? You only find them when they lose it all and they want you to pray for them again, okay? So we want you to, to be accessible and to be real and to be uh, true to yourself, amen? Don't let money change you because, because if you can't handle, if you can't handle $10, how you can handle a million dollars? If you can't give into prophetic, if you can't give into the word that was sown in your life, you can't give that $200, $300, whatever the Lord tell you, how you can handle a million dollars? If you can't give ten thousand dollars, then God better say give that. Why? Because He won't give you five million. <laughs> you don't understand. I told you about the guy who, who followed the principle of giving, and he started to give. He started up with ten dollars. He up to a million. He up. He up to. He up to a hundred thousand a month. I bought his book. I, I had to better. It was too awesome. I had to buy his book. He gave his way into into all these franchises into the, into the airport, and he was making. He's making close to uh, ten thousand dollars a year, and he started over ten dollars, and he kept increasing it. He increased it to hundred dollars, and he kept he kept doing it, and and and, and it was it was at a point it was a point where he was given ninety percent of what he make, and and his night is ninety percent given the ten percent what he's living on was 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 close to was was close to several million dollars. Okay, so he learned that principle, and God made him a mighty uh, businessman. And he began to help ministries and establish churches and establish works for God and began to bless uh, people who were hungry and starving in, in different parts of the world and was able to bless missionary work and, and help those who are underprivileged who love the Lord. I uh, see God, so God put it in his hand. And then, and then uh, he, uh, I loaned the book to, to a pastor, really. And now the pastor won't give me back the book. I know he have the book. I say, can I have the book back? He said, I don't remember, I don't remember where I put it. He knows he had that book. But I can't remember the guy's name because I want another copy of it. I know the pastor. Know it. the pastor been the pastor been applying this principle because the pastor now has has, has been accelerating because he he been given and, and he been sowing and he, he tell me people up to, people now blessing him with sometimes twenty thousand dollars and thirty thousand dollars because he know that book I loaned that book to him because he was in he was in a bad place and now he don't give me back that book I know he have that book because I can't remember the author name and that book helped me so much that that would start in a path uh, because this guy was talking about how he given it's a black guy too. And he became multi-millionaire, and he said God has showed him another level, and he said he'd show him the, in, the internet age, and he was he was getting ready to sow like almost like half a million dollars into this into this uh, into this uh, uh, ministry life, uh, because he he was believing God for this for this um for this next level of blessing that God has shown him, and God had prospered this man so much that he was able to live off the ten percent, his ten percent um, was more than his ninety percent. Okay, but that takes really extreme faith yeah I know I know and it really frustrate me because I loan you that with it, with it for to help you and now I want it back you and give it to me see he don't want me he don't want me getting out of the situation that was that was wrong he discerned that I won't get that book so I can apply the principles again but God can bless me to find that book amen I've been looking for his name I couldn't find the author's name I was like God what I what is the man name I bought a book in the airport one day this waiting to go away and that book so revolutionized my life because this man was given and the doors were opening for him like crazy he said you can't out give God the more you give he said because he give with a sincere heart okay he give real and he give in the good ground and that book so blessed me I'm praying that God you God just tell me what the author name is again please because that book I read that book in one sitting, you hear me? It was so fascinating. I didn't even go away no more because I found what I was looking for right in the right in the airport in Miami. I bought that book right in there and I went back looking for that book. I, don't, I never could find that book. And the pastor knows that he had that book in his library and wouldn't give it to me. You hear me? He knows that. He knows that. He knows that. And he wouldn't give it to me. He wouldn't give it back to me. The Lord rebuked you for that because I've been a blessing to you. I've been a blessing to you. Now it's time for you to... See, that's one of the things we talk about. You being a blessing to someone and they don't want to be a blessing to you. He know I want that book now because he figured I wanted something. And now he... Oh, I know what I because I know the book. I remember where I, remember where I put that man. See? Sometimes when it's time for them to help you, 
you've been there for them, but they won't be there for you. May the Lord, may the Lord give me that book name again. And, and, and the gentleman who wrote that book so I could find the book. In the name of Jesus. I can't remember the name of the book. That's the funny thing, because I loaned it to a pastor a little while back. And I noticed that his life took off and, and his ministry took off. And, and, um, and he just was getting blessed all over the place. Because it's a book on giving, really. It's a book on giving, but it came from a, a black man perspective and how he told me the same thing I talk about, that sowed and reaping. I remember some of the things he said, that's why I was able to practice the sowed and reaping. And I started to give into the I started to give into the pastor's life and the prophet's life. And and I began to sow like how he was doing. I don't think I was at that level uh, where he was sowing because he was up to 20%, then he went to 30%, then he went to 50%, then he went to uh, uh to 90%, you know. And 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 uh May God, may God bless me to find that book again. All right, and I'll recommend it to you guys. And I went to the pastor. I know the pastor have it in his library. Because the Lord had told me he had his library. But he told me he ain't have it. He ain't have it. He ain't have it. And he know where it is. He ain't know where he put it. That book right there in his library. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't release that to me. And I believe he has that book right there. And he, and he uses the book when he wants to. And then he puts it back and wouldn't release it to me. Amen, amen, and amen. And I remember the guy, he was a black businessman, and he had some concessions in Florida. I think he had some sessions, concessions with the airport. He said he, he tied his way, he gave his way, uh, he sold his way into this concession. He said he was broke, he was broke into the Ten Commandments. And the, the Lord revealed to him the principle on another level, not just religious giving. He gave, he gave, with, he gave with intention, and he gave with an assignment for his seed. And I always tell you guys, when you're giving, make sure release it with an assignment. You don't have to tell the pastor. You don't have to tell the, uh, the, the, the person you're giving it to. to give it with an assignment. It is time tested. It is honored as proven. And this thing had me. I started giving it to pastor's life. I started giving it to prophet's life. I started helping work. And I started to notice that, that, that uh, a lot of things would come to me without me trying. Amen. And I, and I began to sow uh, for, uh, for the ministry that I wanted to go into. And I sowed, I sowed into the pastor's life for the ministry. And I'm here teaching to you as a result of the seeds I've sown. Okay. Yes, I've I've given um, into many um, anointed men of God's life, and God has blessed me because I'm blessing the servants. <laughs> okay, if you don't believe in that, then tell then listen. If you don't believe that that's for the season, send me your money then. Whatever money they send into your life, send it back to me. If you don't want to receive it, then I'll take it. Just take your PayPal off. Just take your all your stuff off. Let me receive your money. All right. <laughs> Let me receive it. Okay, because. Uh, I believe a workman is worthy of his hire. I believe that if you are working the works of the Lord and you need stuff taken care of, then you should you should honor the gift. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with that. It's biblical. In the name of Jesus. Okay, so 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 when I find this book again, I'm gonna release it to you guys. Okay, I'm gonna release the author's name, and um and uh, I know it, I know it revolutionized my life, and it was a thick book. It was a thick book. And it was, uh, I, I literally read it in one sitting. That's how that's much it impacted my life. And I knew, I, I loaned it to the pastor because the pastor was struggling in some areas. And then I noticed that his, his, his membership increased where he had to do three or four services a day. Can you imagine that? From having, almost, having nobody in the church to doing five or six services. Okay. And, um, and being released, all right, to a greater dimension in some things. All right. So he ended up having three, four services, uh, you know, can't find a parking spot and become late because he discovered the principle and power of the seed and the giving. And I'm going to do a detailed teaching on that. Okay. I think I've did it before, but I'm going to do it another one again. Okay. Wow. God bless you. God bless you, Mo Beth. She said, thank you, man of God. Your obedience, your ministry is transforming lives. And God bless you. God bless all of you. You know, we, we, we see in part, we hear in part, but whatever, Whatever God has given us to do, you be faithful in doing that. Amen. Whatever revelation God has given you, you be faithful, you know, in doing that. And God will reward you at the end of the day because it's God who opens the hearts of people. All right. And so God brings his words to pass. You see how I spoke those words over people? Then God is gonna God is gonna bring it into your life at the at the right time. Amen. Someone listening to me, thank you, Jesus. You've been trying to have a baby for a long time, and you haven't been able to have a child. Hallelujah. The Lord's gonna release this child to you. Okay. But you got to pull the child out of the heaven because <laughs> the forces have been fighting you, okay? This child is waiting for you. The child is calling your name and has been asking for you, but it's been, you've been fought. You've been fought in the atmosphere with this child. You want to have a child and you've not been able to have this child. 
Hallelujah. You want to bring a child into, the, into this, into this uh, realm. You want to have this child uh, for a particular, you know, for a particular reason because of the person you're with. You know, you, you guys have been believing by faith. But for whatever reason, you have not had the child yet and, 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 and you believe in God. Okay? I want you to know uh, today or tonight when you finish this broadcast, you go and thank God for this child that's coming and you go buy some baby clothes. Okay? You buy the clothes. You buy the crib. <laughs> And you believe God for it, okay? God's going to do it. I give a name expectations. Amen, amen. I like that, Anastasia. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. David Stewart, WWT Global Money Makers Ministry. Amen, amen. That sounds powerful, Sandra. That sounds very powerful. <laughs> what is it? Carrie Ann. God bless you, Carrie Ann, Nicole, Anastasia. I keep miscarrying. Okay. So, Father, I speak, I speak, Father God, whatever's been messing with a womb, every strong man, every uh, spirit spouse that's been messing with a womb and, and causing this baby to abort, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I break the power of, of this spiritual strong man that has been sponsoring this miscarriage from this altar. I cancel it right now. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it right now. I speak that to it and I command this child to come forth. This is a little girl that's been calling forth to come forth. Amen? A little girl that's been calling to come forth into this realm. And I release it now, Lord. Even now. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, come forth right now. Move! Foul spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. Money, Proverbs, and Principle of Winning, Savings. I thought that was the name of the guy. Because I know you could research like that, uh, Anissa. Anissa, I know you could research like that. Is that, is that the guy's name? Because I know you'll do your research now. Angel Lopez, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, Betty. Mobed, God bless you. Uh, Rakina. Bernika, God bless you. Bernika, Anastasia Austin, God bless you. In the name of Jesus, I speak a blessing over Lenisa Akobali. I speak a blessing over you. Marie, I speak a blessing over you. Keisha, I speak a blessing over you. Buffy Cooper, I speak a blessing over you. In the name of Jesus. Pinda Pinda, I speak a blessing over you. Pinda Pinda, in the name of Jesus. My buddy right there. Bernita, I speak a blessing over you. In the name of Jesus. Monique, Simmons Thurston, God bless you. God bless you. I speak a blessing over you. Uh, Father, I release the bloodline around everyone that's watching the name of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth. I release the bloodline. I release the favor of God. I release the power of God. Clisilda, God bless you. God bless you, one of God. I release the blessings and power of God over Nicole, Tyronda. I, re I, re I rebuke any false spirit that wants to mess with your mind concerning belief. In the name of Jesus, Vanessa Ferguson, I speak a blessing over you. Nisi, I speak a blessing over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Buffy, I speak a blessing over you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak a blessing over Stephanie Hernandez. At this, I speak a blessing over you. Reed Ross. I'm looking at a number of books. Man. I hope that's... I wonder if there's a guy there. In the name of Jesus. You got to send it to me, Nessel. I wonder if that's the guy right there. I know it's a black guy, to be honest with you. It's a black author. I can remember that. A black guy and a prominent businessman. Like, you know, when he talk about how the process, his process was proceeding. All right, seed time and harvest and, and giving and and, I, and that shade that listen. This book was I read this book about twenty years ago. This author would have written this book about twenty years ago. All right, this is about twenty years ago. Denise Sherman, God bless you. Welcome in, Denise. <laughs> yes, Melvina, God bless you. Petra, God bless you. Will Richardson, God bless you, man of God. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Dorothy, God bless you. Angel Eyes, God bless you in the name of Jesus. All of you that are watching and listening on the sound of my voice, I release the shofar. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I lose the shofar under you and around you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible and the Word of God says, as long as the earth remain, there will be seed. And then there's something called time, and there's something called harvest. 
as long as the earth remains, there will be seed, there will be time, and there will be harvest. God introduced that for a reason. Okay? The people uh, from the Middle East and the Mediterranean countries, they were agrarian. They dealt with agriculture a lot. Okay? That was a, an agrarian culture. So he had a basis teaching around things that were familiar to them. And hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I received that carry on. Increase over property ministry, financial increase. God bless you. I received that, woman of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you, Carrie Ann, for saying that. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we just cover every one of the sound of my voice. And even as I release the sound of the shofar, Lord, we just speak healing, blessings, deliverance, freedom, liberty, God, from stubborn problems. God, these people love you. They love you, Lord. And they, they could have been doing other things, but they're here. And because of that, I need you to honor them, Lord, uh, with a blessing, uh, with, with increase, with favor, fight their fight uh, fight against those that's fighting against them, war with those that's warring against them, and God give your people uh, amazing breakthroughs, amazing testimonies. Father God, turn the situation around uh, that that the enemy been trying to keep them bound in and trying to steal from them. The enemy been trying to steal something from someone. Amen. And this is something to do with um, your your settlement. You're supposed to get a settlement. You're supposed to get a settlement, but the enemy is trying to get you to take one-tenth of what they're supposed to give you. And they, they're trying to strong-arm you and they're getting one-tenth. I break that power right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They want to give you one-tenth of what you're supposed to get. They are trying to swing you and they want you to sign some papers because they feel like you're in a position where you have to get this money. So they're trying to keep almost 90% of it. And I... I break the power of that lying devil and demon, that stealing demon, that stealing demon, hallelujah, a stealing demon. I command you to lose their blessing right now. Lose their blessing right now. Hallelujah. Get out of their life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You foul spit of mammon. Mammon, you're trying to steal from them. Get out, mammon. Get out. Come on, lose them. Stephanie says she feels like she's stuck in the same place, can't move forward. I know the feeling. I release you to move forward, Stephanie, in the name of Jesus. You shall move forward. I was an accident, insurance, I'm giving me my money. Joyce, you're going to get this money, okay? You're going to get this money. You're going to get your money. And they, they're trying to get you to sign something or they want to play with you. They want to wait you out. They want to make you feel uh, to the place where you're desperate. Then they want to send someone around there to give you one tenth and keep the rest. No, sir. I cancel that right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm tired of the people of God going through foolishness. I'm tired of the people settling. You will get your full benefits from this insurance company. And those who also got settlements, they got to get. But they're not getting from work from work stuff and from retirement benefits and from other things, from uh, accidents and, and uh, other things that happen where they're supposed to get this money. And they send private investigators to find stuff on you. The court already ordered them to pay. And they're not paying. They will have to pay right now. In the name of Jesus, people who have settlements that uh, even from divorce cases that you're supposed to get this money um, from property and land, I command it to be released to you now in the name of Jesus. I command even the property and land that is yours by divine right. Those who tie it up got to loose it and let it go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you uh, uh, release a special blessing. To Dr. To Dr. Uh, Sandra, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I ask for a special blessing. To Dr. Sandra, in the name of Jesus, I speak a special uh, blessing over Dr. Sandra right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak a special word, even unto the Lord, where the Lord is saying, victory, victory, victory for you, one of God, victory, victory, victory. Victory is yours, as the Spirit of the living God. I don't know why, but I just keep seeing victory over your name, Dr. Sandra. I keep seeing victory for you. Victory. God is going to give you victory in something that you've been believing God for and it hadn't really fully manifested yet. But the Lord shall do this thing for you. Amen. And uh, something to do with healing. God is going to bring healing. In the name of Jesus, I release the full benefits, uh, even the financial uh, windfall. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The, and, and, the, and the upgrade in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for Dr. Sandra Smith. God, I speak a blessing over her. 
in the name of Jesus, and they cover her with the blood, they cover the ministry, and those that are connected to her in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I release this blessing to flow. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you guys hear me? Are you guys still there? Okay, I'm going to release it so far. I'm going to let you all hear the song. We can close up with the song, okay? We can close up with, with this, this, this awesome music. Let's close up with some amazing music. I don't want to copyright this music. I want to state it up, up front. Receive it. Receive it.
man. Fire on my 
Amen. Amen. <laughs> so we're going to end on that note, guys. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you real soon. Amen.